Hello and welcome back to FPV Tips. I'm George and today we're gonna take a look at the Sky RCQ200 Quattro Balance Charger. There are many decent chargers out there. Some are certainly cheaper than the Q200, especially if you have uh, already your own power supply or if you charge with a parallel charging board. That's a fact that needs to be acknowledged, and I'm not saying the Sky RC2 Q200 is the right choice um, for everyone, but for me it is, and here are the main two reasons why. For one, I don't have a separate power supply, and much more would prefer a more well-rounded solution that I could just start using. And two, I don't do parallel charging with external boards. I know if you're careful if, and if you know what you're doing, it's a safe method of charging many batteries at once but I personally do, want, do not want to deal with it and I have no need to do so. I fly different quads with different battery sizes and I have been doing somewhat fine with just a couple of very small chargers for about uh, three years now. And that's why I picked the Sky RC Q200 and why I'm excited about it. It comes with a built-in charger and it has four completely separate from one another charging slots and I love this. I can charge up to four different batteries of different size or even chemistry at the same time. I'm fairly excited about this setup for the summer 2020 FPV season. If you like parallel charging and you know what you're doing, um, enjoy. I'm not trying to uh, convince anyone against it. It's not wildly dangerous again if you know what you're doing and if you pay attention. But I know many people who also don't want to deal with this. And this is why I'm presenting an option that would allow you to charge up to four batteries at once without having to deal with a parallel charging board. For something that costs around $170, the unboxing experience is pretty good. Uh, the box comes padded with this thick foam to protect the unit from all sides. Uh, removing the top plate reveals uh, two compartments inside, one for the charger and one for its accessories. You get a nice detailed and a pretty thick manual. Four parallel charging adapters for two to six S batteries. Four banana plug to XT60 cables. Two extra banana plug cables that you could custom solder to anything. An outlet plug. And finally, the Sky RC Q200 itself. The charger comes wrapped in plastic protective film too, and that's pretty much all you get in the box. In terms of specs and features, the two arguably most important things about this charger are the fact that it can charge up to four batteries uh, at the same time with different amount of cells or even chemistry type um, and completely independently. And it can do so with its own internal power supply, no extra power supply needed. It has a nice colorful screen with a fairly intuitive UI and you can operate the unit with the five labeled buttons right under the screen. The A, B, C, and D labels point to where the four charging channels are located. At 7.5 by 6.5 roughly inches, it's not the most compact charger. It's also not the bulkiest, given it contains the power supply as well. There's a couple of uh, cooling fans on the sides of the unit. It can charge a variety of different battery chemistry, like uh, LiPo, LiHV, LiFi, Li, um, Ion, NiMH, NiCD, and PB, including, of course, our drone favorite LiPo. And it can do that at up to 200 watts total power fed via an AC input. For OTG applications, the unit can also accept power via an XT60 DC port on the back. And that power should be anywhere between 11 and 18 volts. There is also a power on off switch on the back panel above the AC plug slot. In the middle of the front panel, there is a five USB, a five volt USB charging port and a PC link micro USB port for connecting to a computer. Each of the four charging channels has four ports. The banana plug positive uh, in red uh, and negative in black. The balance lead port in white 
and the temperature sensor port. The firmware is upgradable, there is a PC control software as well as a smartphone app that allows you to connect to the charger via Bluetooth to control it and to monitor the state of charging. Additionally, you can scan QR codes via the app to quickly read and apply charging profiles. So in a way, it's a very easy um, to get up and running and to quickly get started charger. But at the same time, um, the charger supports some more advanced use cases and scenarios should you ever need them. Cool stuff. In terms of setup, there is not a whole lot to do um, in order to get going. Um, all you gotta do is you need to plug in the charger um, into the wall and into the AC port and then just power it on by the switch on the back. You need to press enter to confirm. And that's it. We're in. We can take a look um, at the UI. Um, before we continue, however, if you're also curious and if you want to go get the um, mobile application for your smart smartphone, let's have a look at how to do that real quick. To get the smartphone app, uh, you can scan the QR code or alternatively uh, navigate to this URL. And then, um, in my case, I downloaded the application from the Google Play Store. You can install it. it takes a couple of seconds. Once you first start the application, it's going to look for the charger and attempt to connect to it via Bluetooth. You can tap on the charger device to select it. Finally, um, enter your setup password. You can come up with anything you like. And that's it. Now that uh, we're in, we can take a quick look at the user interface of the application. Um, it's quite intuitive. It allows you to select the different uh, modes from storage charge, fast charge, balance charging. You can also adjust the battery chemistry type by scrolling up and down. Uh, you can also select the cell count of the battery. You can do the same thing for each of the four battery channels, A, B, C and D. And you can select the current um, charging output anywhere up to 10 amps. The application has plenty of options and it allows you to adjust uh, most of the settings that you could also adjust on the charger itself. In order to get the PC connection going, you would need to plug in the charger via the micro USB uh, port on the front panel and download the SkyRC uh, PC software. To do that, head on over to skyrc.com downloads and go to software download Go to software download and download the Charger Master software. You then need to extract the software from the archive and install it on your computer. Once ready, you can run the software and as you can tell, there is a lot of um, things we can do in here. You can monitor live as your uh, batteries are charging on different channels, between channel A, B, C, and D. You can start and stop the charging process, as well as completely configure it right from the PC software. I definitely recommend reading through the manual before doing anything on your charger and always being extra cautious when dealing with LiPo batteries in general. If I'm honest, I was expecting some sort of a navigation here with hard to remember steps in nested menus, but I'm happy to report SkyRC has absolutely nailed the UI. It's very intuitive and easy to use. When you first put up the SkyRC Q200, you're presented this main menu screen, which shows at a glance the state of all four charging channels. Uh, and any changes happen right within the same screen. Uh, pressing the left mouse button cycles through the channels and the currently selected one is highlighted. Uh, then you cycle through the different options with the plus and the minus uh, button and confirm your selection with the enter button. 
The charger has a few different modes, but probably 95% of the times you would just need the balance charge or the storage charge mode. As a side note, putting your batteries in storage charge at 3.85 volts um, is highly recommended when storing them over extended periods, uh, ranging from just a few days to over the winter season. Doing that will preserve their longevity and characteristics and extend their life. When setting up the connections, um, again, I advise you to consult the manual, but in this example of charging a 4S battery, um, here's how it goes. I suggest you make the connections with the charger off. Pick one of the channels, channels and plug in the banana plug to XT60 cable. Negative uh, cable goes to negative terminal and positive to positive. Uh, then plug in the balance charge adapter to the white port. There is a notch to prevent plugging it the wrong way, but do pay attention for that. Uh, you should be able to now power on the charger and make the battery connections. Uh, XT60 on the battery to the XT60 plug and balance port uh, to the adapter, depending on the cell, cell count, in my case, a 4S. Next, you have to select the battery cell count. This charger supports anything between 2S and 6S. Uh, then set the charging current I usually charge up it up to 2 amps, but really most of the times between 1 and 1.5 amps. When ready with all the settings, press and hold the enter button for 3 seconds in order to start charging. And that's all there is to it. I remember always keep an eye on your batteries while charging and you can also monitor the progress via Bluetooth with the smartphone app, but this should not be a substitute for the actual in-person supervision. You can also save particular settings as profiles to QR codes. What that allows you to do is to print those QR codes and attach them to batteries with their charging settings. That way, um, comes charging time, you can just scan the codes with the smartphone app and go. I haven't yet looked into that option myself, as I don't find it uh, that hard to just punch in the charge settings anyway, right into the charger. In terms of upgrades, I would also like to uh, recommend you a couple of things. If you also need to charge two, three or four S batteries that have an XT30 connector, I recommend you grab a few banana plug to XT30 connector cables or make your own um, if you have the necessary connectors to wire and feel like soldering. Um, I also very recently learned about an XT30 to PH2.0 cable that could help you storage charge your 1S PH2.0 whoop batteries. I saw this in one of Andy RC's latest videos and I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, that cable can also be purchased or handcrafted. So what's the final verdict? Um, I really like this charger. In fact, more so than what I thought I would. Uh, let's be honest here, chargers most of the times I wouldn't say are particularly exciting, but here's the thing. A good charger can save your house from burning down, can take good care of your batteries, save you time and make the overall charging process pain free. So while chargers usually lurk in the background, they do a lot of work involved as we can fly our drones. Uh, the main thing for me with the Sky RC Q200 was the simplicity and the ease of use. Uh, it's not often that you see not one but three separate nice user interfaces one on the charger screen one on the smartphone app and even the desktop software is pretty useful i was genuinely very surprised um, overall i would say the charger feels like a high quality product delivers a great experience and comes in at only 170 dollars and i know 170 bucks is not particularly cheap but here's why i say only um, for example, a fairly decent ISDT charger will set you back anywhere between $60 to $80. Then you have to add a decent power supply to that. So say at least another $30 to $50. Uh, and that's to charge one battery at a time. So then you need to grab a parallel charging board for another $20 to $30. Bucks. And we're looking at anywhere between $110 to $160 already. If that's your setup and you're happy with it, great, nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you don't want to deal with parallel charging and you want to charge up to four LiPos at the same time, then the Sky RC Q200 is a pretty decent option. Subscribe for more FPV tips and happy flying.